Hey everyone, happy Monday. I hope you're doing well. It is late Monday. It is 7 o'clock in the evening. So, I decided to get on here and do a quick little catch up. And um, I haven't talked to you since last week. So, that's what I'm doing now. Oh, today was all willy nilly. But before I start with today, I'm going to start with Saturday. Saturday we had church visitation, so we went and did that, and then we actually went out to eat. We went to Zaxby's and ate at Zaxby's, and for all eight of us, it was $54 or $56. I was surprised, and we all got a plate. No one split anything, so that was pretty surprising, so that was pretty good. And then we came home. I'm trying to think of what we ate Sunday night, or Saturday night. Um... I cannot even recall. I'd have to look at the menu. But um, we ate. <laughs> and then we got ready for Sunday school. I watch, I will always watch on Friday and Saturday night live PD. Well, almost always. Not always, always, but almost always. And I did this past weekend. And we got ready for church yesterday. Yesterday was all day church. We have our church day is. Sunday school, church service, come home, eat dinner, which we did stop by Walmart, and I will add that to my total for groceries later. That should bring me up to about 200 for this month so far, but anyway. Um, we stopped by Walmart, got a few groceries. There's a little market Walmart in the neighborhood, so we did that. We went to... We came home, we cooked dinner really quickly, which we had fried sausage and mac and cheese and greens, canned greens. Then we took a quick nap. We left early before going back to church because I wanted to go to um, find some sulfur crystals to... Uh, use for inflammation. We found that at the vitamin shop. While we were at the vitamin shop, they had some killer deals on their protein powders. So I've been wanting to use the Premier, Premier Protein Shakes uh, as part of the Weight Watchers plan, but it's just entirely too expensive for me. It's like $2 or so a shake, and I cannot spend that. Or I'm not willing to spend that, even if I could. But this, it comes in giant powder form and you mix it yourself. I had one this morning with some almond milk. It was pretty good, but of course with the almond milk it's one point. And then tonight before supper I had one with um, just water. And I just shook it up in a mason jar that had a lid and uh, with water and added some ice and it was pretty good. Keep getting sticky here. Um. So tonight we had chicken enchiladas with black beans and corn and I put mine, I just put the filling on a bed of spinach with the black beans and corn and we had spinach rice on the side. So not all of the family is eight. James is still off to work. He hasn't came home yet and Dalton just got here. Samuel's not here either. I don't think he is anyway. And uh, so today was all crazy. Oh, last night, uh, after church, our pastor and his wife asked us to stay after church and fellowship with them and a missionary couple that visited church. And so we had supper with them. It was delicious. They had tacos. It was very, very good. And the fellowship was, was very good, too. So that was great. And so we got home late last night, and we had to get up early again this morning to take Samuel to work. And then when I got home, I fell back to sleep, and then my day had been off ever since. Because what I would normally do last night wasn't done for today, so I was trying to do that, plus catch up on some sleep. And today is living room day. We did get the living room tidied up some. I did not get the usual dusting and everything done that I do on Mondays. We'll see if I get that done. 
tomorrow. If not, tomorrow would be like a cooking day. So yeah, I should be able to because I'm not there's. I still want to do the chocolate granola of which I have not made yet again. It's like three weeks in a row. I said I'm going to make it, and it's delicious. It's it's at Amy Marion's channel, um, plainandnotsoplain.com, I think it is. Delicious. So maybe I'll get to that tomorrow along with the living room to get that done. Um, as far as our system, we didn't really, I, we were on survival mode today. So I had Jesse to do the dishwasher and he mowed the grass today. Um, Bethany put together supper for me. I just told her what to do step by step. She did a great job. And she did some other chores. She helped tidy up the living room. There was something else she did. Joanna has been helping me to rotate the laundry. We actually need to get in there this evening and fold and put away clothes. And she also helped tidy the living room. Um... Gloria did the kitchen table. She cleaned that off, and she's just been doing miscellaneous stuff that I asked her to do. So we've all have been busy. I was on the phone with Brittany for about three hours because they were gone last week to a family camp, of which they had a great time, praise the Lord. And so while I was on the phone with her, off and on, I would do some chores. I swept out from underneath our bed, even though it is not bedroom day. Like I said, it's been Willie and L.A. today. And so I actually need to sweep up that pile that I swept out, out from underneath our bed and throw that away. We've done laundry. I did a little bit of mopping. James bought me a new string mop. Finally, I was able to get one on Saturday. So that is bought. And that worked well. And then um, I was going to work some on the lesson plans, but I want to show you this. As I was cleaning out, oh yeah, I cleaned out a whole bunch of books today. Tried to organize those because the homeschool closet, which is what I call the school room, but really it's an all-purpose room, and I have my grandmother's old Lazy Susan table in there, of which I plan on making into a formal type dining room or an overflow dining room. Um, in that room, there is a double closet that has all kinds of school books in it, and so I've been cleaning that out so I could put our extra crock pots and roasting pans and my salad shooter, of which I have not used in years, but I don't want to get rid of because as soon as I do, I will want it back. I plan on sharing that double closet that's in what will be our dining room eventually, I plan on sharing the books with the crock pots and all of that. So I'm cleaning out old books that we don't need. I had a little crying spell today because I saw some books that I started homeschooling with uh, that Brittany and, and Dalton used to use and my babies are all grown. So that was really sad. So a few books I'm holding back to see if Brittany wants. If she doesn't want it, then I'll go to the pile to give to friends. And if the friends don't want the books, once they go through it, I'm just going to give it to Goodwill or throw it away. And I've got a throwaway pile that I know that nobody else is going to want the stuff either. But for the homeschool planning, I want to show this to you if I can. It might be a little bit of a challenge because this phone does not flip around. But um, I'm going to use this for my lesson plans. With the Easy Peasy Homeschool, we're going to be using that this school year, with the exception of using Spelling Power and, well, continue with Spelling Power and with their math. Now, for Gloria, she'll be doing some of the Easy Peasy math, but I will be supplementing with some regular math that I have. And so, of course, Daisy's here. Sit down. Sit. Sit, Daisy. Sit. Good. Doggy. Okay, so I'm going to try to turn you around and show you this. Okay. See, this is called The Checklist, and it is by Cindy Downs. I, I have not seen this be very popular online, but I really do enjoy it. And it's a K-12 through scope and sequence record keeper for Christian educators. Okay, so what you do, and it has all kinds of subjects in here. Let's see, there's Sheba. They're keeping me company. Sit, sit, sit. They have um, 
the histories, even church history in here, geography, countries of the world, that's geography, U.S. history, they have that listed separately, reading skills, literature, communication, grammar, math, science, it has several branches of the sciences, I think it has all of the branches of sciences in here, um, physical sciences, chemistry, art and art history slash appreciation, that's really good because Jesse's going to take art for a full credit this year, some kind of drawing course, and then art appreciation for a half credit because he has to get six and a half credits this year. Music and music appreciation. And then they have like a PE in here, spiritual growth. And I hope that this is something that you can still buy because it's really good. And what you do, let me get to one of these. It has things broken down. Uh, very well. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around. Okay, I hope you can see this. So this is like, um, like people in church history, like Ananias and Sapphira, yada yada. Once your children study it, you can check it off. You can put their initials if more than one student is using this at a time. I need to go through this and check all of this stuff off that I know they have studied. Um, I tried separating. Let's see what the blue section is. The blue section is U.S. history. And you can check it off for elementary and for high school. But yeah, so that's what, I'm going to turn you around again. Woo, there's my hand. That's what I'm going to use this school year. Again, so. I'm going to go through the scoping sequence for Easy Peasy. And go through here and label the students as to who has done it. And um, that will be our record keeping along with, they have, Easy Peasy has different charts that you can print, like attendance charts and progress reports. I know you're not breathing on me in my coffee. You know I won't go for that. What do y'all need, doggies? So, anyway, that is what's going on with that. Um... I might work on that some tonight, although when I was cleaning out the school book closet, I did find some other cookbooks I want to look through. That's one of my hobbies, too, is looking through cookbooks. I might do that some tonight. Get the kitchen caught up to par so tomorrow we can officially start the new schedule for week one. Yeah, so that's very important. Um, uh, I think that is all. For Monday, I told you what we had. We had chicken and gelatas. I am not on a bed of lettuce, did I tell you that? And the, uh, the protein shakes has worked really well to suppress my appetite. So I had a shake for breakfast. And with the um, sulfur crystals, I dissolved it in some orange juice, although tomorrow I plan on using it in crystal light. That will save me one Weight Watchers point. And then I'll just do the protein shake, a protein drink, in water again like I did tonight. I might add some cocoa powder to it. And then I had some yogurt with some um, crystal light mixed in to take my moringa powder. And I stirred that up and ate it. I had... I think that was everything until supper time. And I am like at, I think 14 points or something like that. So I have several points that I can use the rest of the night if I want to, which I might get something like popcorn or something. So anyway, I'm gonna let you go. It's almost 15 minutes long. I'll talk to you later. And so yeah, if you want to check out the checklist, I hope they do still sell it. I know it wasn't very popular online when I bought it years ago, but I have enjoyed it. 
I do recommend it. It's good for record keeping and it's going to save me a whole lot of time and having to write out all of the lesson plans. So I'll talk to you soon.